Hey you guys, welcome to Splinterlands TV. It is I the Psy, and we are back to do a little bit of modern gameplay. Um, so I haven't I've had some success here. I've got five in a row, but you can also see lost three, one, one, lost three more, one, three, lost two, one, two. So I've actually got ten and ten on the board right now. Uh, so things aren't easy up here in uh, champ three. One more win, I made it to champ two. But uh, yeah, the uh, battles are hard fought here. Uh, everyone has very similar decks. So I've achieved where Matt says we're supposed to hit that 50-50 mark. And I think I'm right on the verge of Champ 3 and Champ 2. So I'm going to try and fight my way up a little bit into hopefully the leaderboard. But hey, I'd be happy even just finishing the season in Champ 2. So I don't get such a huge demotion at the end of the, uh, the season. I don't get kicked all the way back down. So... We're going to make this a gameplay focused uh, strategy or gameplay focused video, I should say. I'll try and give out some tips and tricks as I'm playing. As always, if you guys have any questions about anything Splinterlands, feel free to post that in the chat. I'll try my best to answer it. We'll take a little break. Uh, but yeah, let's get the battles going and uh, let's see how well we can do today. Am I going to bust or am I going to break some people? Let's, uh, let's find out. There we go. So gameplay is already starting off strong. So we got Blast. Broken arrows, and we got armor. Okay. Blast, broken arrows, armor. Alright, let's create a team. So I'm obviously going to... I'm debating whether or not I should go with Yasik in this one. But everyone has armor. So... And I can't do broken arrows. So that means I don't think I'm going to go with Yasik at all in this case. Uh, let's go with Kelia. Uh, who has taunt? Q-R-S-T-4 taunt... That's it. Lurker. Okay, cool. Well, let's use Lurks. And let's do that. And we're going to power out our combo here. We're going to use some weapons training. We're going to keep using lots of slow if we can. So I'm going to slow it and repair um, with uh, healing for the Lurker. Just try and keep him alive as long as I can. And then what do we do with that last three mana? So we're looking at Blast. I almost want to use Musus. Oh, you know what? Maybe I can take... Ooh, the slow is really good. I kind of want Tidebiter, though, because he's going to blast instead. That leaves me with two, and I can't use him. That's right. I was going to go, and I was going to use the... Uh, uh, why can I not remember? It's Igor, Dark Spear, but I can't use him. So I think I am going to switch back to Venator Kinjo, which gives me three. And in doing so, I can use... Oh, I need to get this guy up with his scatter shot. But I think I'll try and use Musa Selene to try and break their armor should they choose to use it. Now, I am worried about them going and using their own um, Yasik because obviously Yasik totally counters this whole thing. Um, but if I can pull it off, he's got speed, she's got slow, he's got slow. So this guy's already going up to plus one with Kelia, which makes him five and then they're getting slowed twice and then darg is making him six so this could work out really well for me especially since he's got five attacks so he blasts for three on his own but i mean i'm expecting to have a tide biter behind whoever it is that i'm hitting anyway i'm just hoping for lots of misses but bear in mind that their tide biter will have true strike and my venator kinjo just kind of sits there so i'm relying a lot on darg and guardians and i think that the musa might work out well for me Ooh, you know who'd be really good to blast if I could squeeze him in here would obviously be Venka. And they're probably going to be using something else, but it's uh, probably be using something that is being weapon trained as well. But I think that it's too late. I've passed the point of no return. 8, 9, 10, 11. I gotta just press battle here. Or else I'm just gonna run out of time. So let's see how things work out with my 5 seconds left. I'm feeling somewhat confident, but not confident enough to say that it's a for sure win by any way shape or form there we go so it was a smith so i should have probably done it and he's got lurker so everyone's gonna have to hit my my own lurker though so he's got slow he's got speed pelicor everyone's going in musa is going to have the nope pelicor is going first and then musa will go first for my team breaking it look he's got max dag and dark though so he's actually got stun which is going to be so good for him and his dag and dark i think is going to attack before my lurker Let's find out what's happening here. I don't know if I can break his Grimmy. I should have definitely gone uh, with my first instinct. He's got way slower speeds than me. Oh, he doesn't have way slower speeds than me. We've got similar speeds is how I'm going to phrase it. 
The shatter was really nice on that, though. Uh-oh, but he's got the magic reflect. The magic reflect. And, of course, he got the stun off. Of course, he got the stun off and didn't miss. And Grimm's back to full health. The only good thing is that he... And, of course, he hit there, too. So, the good thing about this, at least, is the fact that he... Oh, he's going to triage him, though. He doesn't have someone necessarily behind him. And no misses at all. Come on. So that guy is going to end up taking lots of blast, which is the one good thing, is he's taking blast damage every time. He didn't get the stun that time. There we go. I've almost gotten through Grim. If I can get through Grim, then I'm feeling good. He hit again. All right. Two. One more. I If I can hit with Darg, I'm good. And, oh, he got healed again. There we go. Reflect. We're good. I don't know who's going to win. It, it's still anyone's right now. And yes, I needed that miss so badly. Now I could survive one more round. All right. It's still anyone's game here. That armor really helped out. I got some heal. I'm actually excited about this one. I had a good chance. Yes, finally a miss. We got the evasion. Oh, he's at two. He's going to die to poison, though. That's the thing. He's going to die to poison. But I think that it might still be enough for me at this point in time. I think it's still enough. Oh, that miss was really good, too. One. And who's got the fastest speed? You do. Good, good, good. And you're immune to the poison, so you're going to have to get through me legit. I got this one wrapped up. Got this one wrapped up, guys. Woo! So that puts me on a six-win streak right now. Nice. All right. And Musa Selene did her job, but... Like I said, I should have played Venka there. One hit from Venka would have probably killed both of his guys. So, you got to bear that in mind that Venka is the counter to Smith. Um, I mean, I got a little lucky. You saw, good, you saw how good Smith was there. And obviously, my Lurker wasn't doing too much. Let's actually take a look. You got to reload there because that will stay forever in X-Bot. See if it really was that close. Oh, man. What did I do? Press the wrong button. Sure battle. Copy. Reload this. Go back to X-Bot. And paste it in, import. Let's do 100 battles. Battle. Battle. All right, so I did have a positive win record there in the 90s. In the 90s. All right, good. Let's move along. Going to see how many of these I can pound out in the limited time that I have. Uh, my kids are asleep. No armor. Return fire again. And silent summoners. Okay, well, with silent summoners, I mean, we instantly go. And if you had the three drop guys, you'd use them. But if not, Quix is totally fine for this. Okay, no armor. So things like Hill Giant are really good with no armor, obviously. But you kind of, you know what? I need to get speed. I think that that's going to be what wins this, is having the best speed. So let's go and Kai. There's no armor, so I might not need Kai. Uh, let's see, anyone's got slow. The zero drop guy has slow. And let's once again look for more slow. Q, R, slow. Ooh, slip spawn. He's slow himself, but he's good. I don't know if there's anyone for scavs to have here, but you know what? And you've got slow. We'll bring you to the back. Um, there's no blast. Oh, but you're getting my supply runner is going to get hit. I don't think that I care that much. Do I care that much? He's going to take two per turn, but he's going to have six. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see who's got weapon training that I can use. I know that I can weapons train. Rage. I don't think it matters, though. Let's go and let's get Venka in here. Because he's probably... There, there's still the chance of Grimsmith. There's always the chance of Grimsmith. I'm going to put Mycelic in the very front, actually. I've decided I'm putting Mycelic in the very front. I'll heal him up with the Goblin Psychic. And oh, that will... And you can come out. Hmm. I got three left, that means... I got three left. There's no shield. You got speed three. You got speed four. You're really fast. You know what? Maybe I can put Vampire Bat in the very front. Nope. That would be a mistake. Our scout. If I'm using my Celic Slip Spawn in the front and I'm trying to low speed him. It's the right play here. 32. I got threes. Woo! This is a tough choice. I definitely want to try and outspeed them because with no armor. I mean, I think that's the way to go here. Is just get in fast, hit them hard. 
could be Vampire Bat. But if they've got Grim Smith, then I'm done. So you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Scout in as the next one. All right. Because like I said, my, my I really want Venka to hit. If Venka hits and they have no armor, I got to feel I'm just going to start trampling. And you know what? I just realized he's got Force Field. This is going to be great. Let's do it. So we got Slow, we got Slow, and we got Swiftness going on. Oh, it's Mega KY! I love facing Mega Cat. I love facing Mega Cat. Let's see how things go. Oh, no. He's got infantry, but that's fine. They lose it. He's got his own Venka. Let's rumble, because I'm going to be going against his guy with my guy. So we're both going to be Venking each other into force fields. Nine. The return fire. Eight. Five. So, oh, no. That Aider is going to be hard on me. No, it's not, because I got force field. Yay, me! And I'm, I feel kind of good because I went. I did not really go with a lot of magic in this case. There we go, Venka. Don't worry. You'll get him next time, buddy. All right. Three, six. So much force field on it. So much force field. Yeah. I'd say that Mega KB is one of my arch nemesis as well. I lost a little speed there, but I think that it was, it, it was already enough. There we go. There we go. So, yeah, he's only doing two. I'm down to three. I'm going to get my heal on. We're good. We got this one. Sorry, Mega KB. We both had the same thought of using the force field. Boom. Venka on Venka violence. Love it. All right. That's another that's seven in a row for me. 3980. Ooh, that was the one that would have pushed him into champ one. Or that's the one that pushed him out of champ two. Sorry, KB. Let's go and post up here. Actually, you know what? I'll send him a direct message at this point. No point in always doing uh uh finder starting at, at at mega KB. Mega K. Uh, I can't find him this way. Darn it. All right. So I don't want to look for him for too long here and spend too much time, but Mega KB. Oh, there we go. I, he's always there. He's always there. GG, my man. Looking forward to next time. I always like talking to like people that I know and stuff like that. I always like to give them a little shout out these days now because there's... It's a smaller community, right, uh, of us players. So I always feel like when it's someone that I know, it's good to just give them a shout out and be like, I acknowledge you. Oh, he's calling me. Oh, I'm just going to have to close that one off for now. It was um, my son's nursery school teacher who I gave a question to. She's probably calling me back instead of sending me a text message. It's all good. It's all good. And for those of you who are wondering, uh, my my uh, cell phone ringer is actually from SNES Chrono Trigger. It's actually Frog's theme. Such a great little song. Uh, Frog's theme. There we go. Frog's theme. My favorite one. Okay. So we've got Enrage, we've got Fumes, and we've got Close Range. So I feel like I want to stack uh, Enrage, Fumes, Close Range. I feel like I want to stack, I'd love to do Fire in for, you know what, maybe I can still do it. I'd love to do Fire for Yasek here, just for the speed, but I think that I can get almost the same speed out of Kelia, and I want the health, so I'm going to start with Lux. And I'm going to go, I want Mega Speed out of it. I'm going to use Venka. And I'm going to go again with, oops, not Mantaroth. Although Mantaroth does have True Strike. Yeah, yeah, that way if they do get enraged, I can still True Strike them. That could be a good idea. I sort of like that a lot. Um, but I could also use Lurker, who when enraged with lots of speed, comes out like a hero. Okay, so seven, we're going to use Darg. We're going to use kind of the same thing that we did last time. Uh, we're using Merdali because we want to heal Mantroth and repair Mantroth shields because that's obviously insane. You've also got True Strike, which could be good. And Immune, Grimmy is immune. So we'll put him in the front like that. That's only 42 of 51. I hate it. Get out of here, you. 
Um, who else do I have? I'm not using Dragon, which is probably a mistake. Probably a mistake. Who could I put that would be adequate then? I don't have Enrage on my Kulu, but my Kulu would get Enraged. Oh my gosh! Kulu for the Grim Barden Smith combo. Now if Grimmy does get to the front, he'll have three magic and he'll have three uh actual attack attack and kulu would still be able to attack from that second position uh venka is gonna crush everybody i feel maybe we should put you there i want venka to be enraged because then she'll deal like 11 and then she'll just kill everybody because she's got trample and everything too um all right is this the best way to go and you've got triage and you just heal everybody and, oh, that was almost a mistake. That was almost a mistake taking away from being able to weapons train Grimbardian there in case he goes forward. All right. I guess it kind of is. I don't really like it in the end. I feel like this is going to be a losing team, but let's give it a shot. I really wish I would have used my mana more appropriate. In the end, I don't like Kulu Mastermind. I should have probably switched to Possibilius or something like that. We got Virus, though. And since he's using Panda, I feel like it's going to be Grimsmith in the front. Yes, Grimsmith in the front. Just what I like to see. Grimsmith in the front is a beautiful thing for me. Whenever you're playing Venka, I want to see Grim in the front. And I've got lots of magic damage too. And your speed 7. Take that. 8. Oh, that miss was hardcore bad though. How did I even miss that with speed 6? Blind? Do you have blind somewhere? You have blind. You've got blind on the runes here. All right, that makes sense. And you got blind on the runes here. Three, four, all right. Six, eight. I need to hit him one time. I just need one hit. Oh, no, my Mantroth is dead. My Mantroth is dead. Manti, no. I need to get one hit on Grimbarden before Venka. But it's, yes, it is going, it's not going, yeah, okay, forget it. He's got 11 He's going to just crush Mantaroth and miss again. All right. Six. Oh, another miss. Wow. I can't wait to put this guy. Five, two, and now he's going to die to the poison as well. I can't believe my luck. That was bad luck, man. That's just bad luck. That is bad luck that I've missed twice on blinds on that. Oh my god, three misses on blind. Wow, three misses on blind. What the hell? Oh, buddy, that was brutal. That was just so bad. Three misses on the blind. Jeez. Oh, I'm going to lose to just the RNG of blind. 15%, that's it. Eight. Six. Back up to 8. He's back up to 15. 22. Oh, man. I, I thought that I was going to have this one, guys. I thought an, another miss with my 5 attack. I thought I had this one wrapped up, guys. And then I just too much misses with blind. Wow. Oh, my gosh. There wasn't even any blind. It was the flying that time that got me. I cannot wait to put this one into uh, X-Bot. I can't wait. All right, so it's obvious that I'm dead here. And then five left, I'm done. All right, so it'll, it'll kill me good. Yeah, yeah, I lose, I lose. Copy link to this battle. Close it up. And that was against Virus 2. Okay, man. I feel like I lost to Blind there. Import out of 100 battles... Oh, he had a 100% win. Oh. Well, okay then. Alright, well. <laughs> See, sometimes you just think that you have, like, such a good team. This is important, though. This is why I use X-Bot, right? I'm going to take you out. So, 9. Let's do what I what I was thinking about doing. Let's change it into Possibilius. Poss. Possibilius. Let's take out the Kulu, and let's instead put in... Uh, what's the name of that card? The one that has the five attack. This is my. This was the team that I kind of was talking about wanting to have built in the end. Uh, it's not rebellion. It's chaos legion. 
and it's uh, reward cards and where are you oh I have it set for rare only no it's common where is it why are you not here common what did I do wrong chaos legion rewards all right is it just chaos I'll just do chaos legion alone chaos legion I can't even remember its name but it's got the double strike with five fives and possibilities would have given me plus two to all my hit points as well. Why are you not coming up? Chaos Legion. Oh, I'm in the market. That's why. Oh, man. All right. Silly me. There we go. It's called Coastal Sentry. Oh, all right. Let's see if it would have worked out. Coastal Sentry. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let's see what would have happened. He still would have won. All right, cool. So we just had the better team there. It was all about that rage. Uh, and the Beerix helped out as well. 100%. Okay, so it's just a bad team that I put together there, I guess. It just, uh, wasn't good. Neither one of my options was good. Alright, let's keep going. Virus! No, it wasn't RNG. You're actually watching right now. Virus! Good ones, man. I thought that I had you due to RNG, but in the end, no. You had a 100% on me. But you're right, I don't know if it knows about charge. I think it does know about charge, let's face it. So we had Earthquake, No Melee, and 5. 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 Alright, let's do Lily. Let's do Water. And we're going to break out this good old Wave Brood, I think, is going to be the way to go. And I'm going to go with the anti-smith menu. Oh, no melee. So we'll do dark. That way we've got double. We've got double triage on the wave brood. And we know there's no melee. So if they're using ranged, they get return fired. And if they're using magic, I've got void. I love it. Let's do Osher in the front, I think. We'll do three. We want our healing, of course, with dark. And that leaves me with a nice fatty I can toss in front. Uh, none of those guys are what I want. Ooh, do we want you up there like that? Oh, why are you only a one star? Oh, that's so gross. Oh, my other one's on the market like a moron. Oh, you know what? Let's get rid of you. Let's put the eight, eight drop in here. Doop. There we go. Let's do that instead. So Merdali is the only one that's going to be benefiting from, uh, from the Darg, but the Darg has triage and Lily has triage. So everyone's going to have to go for wave brood in that case, which I think is the right way to go. I would love to get, does, who here has, uh, Amplify? Ooh, and Jura Bruna, so does Nalara. Uh, no, we need the Osher Constantine for the Jin Oshanis, I think, in there. I think that's the right play. Heal. Gives res. That'll res the wave brood. That'll give double triad to a resurrected wave brood. Lily. Yeah. I've got a little bit of time. I don't want to rush it. I don't want to rush it. I feel like rune ma... Uh, no. Chaos dragon. No. If they put a grim smith in front though, the problem is I can't break a grim smith with this. That's the problem. Is I can't break grim smith with this. And since there's no melee, there's no, like, way to get through their Grimsmith. I think I have to put my own Grimsmith in that case, to be honest with you. And I have to go all magic. 37, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, uh, let's do it. Alright, because I think that they're going to do their Grimsmith in front. Since we can't use Venka, right? I'm not too afraid of Venka. So I had to do a final last minute switch up there. I wonder if it paid out or not. We're about to determine whether it did. See, I knew that they were going to have a Grimmy in there. They're doing their own type of thing. Because without Venka, it's Grim. If you can play Venka, then it might not be Grim. But if you can play Venka, it's going to be Grim. The thing is that I've got healing for my Grim Barton Smith. And he has healing in the form of Anish Soothsayer. Okay. But, 12. Can't do any damage. 11. Because he dispelled. 9. I'm healed again. So we both got the healing going on. He's got four attack, but that's still only doing two damage to me. So whether it's three or whether it's four doesn't really matter that much, actually. I've got triage. He does not have triage, but he's got the back. He does have triage. That's right. He's got triage from that. Darn it. Okay. And I'm healed up to nine, but I've got double heal. Okay. 
I've got the Chaos Dragon, though. I don't know. I don't know who's going to win this one. It's going to be a long, drawn-out battle. I think that I can break... I think I can break his Grim Smith, though, before he can break mine. I think that I can break his Grim Smith first. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 is what I'll end up going down to. 8, 7... This is just going to be a long battle that you just kind of have to watch. 6, 4... Two. I think I am going to break his Grimsmith first. That's the most important thing. I just need triage on Murdali Guardian. I've got double triage. I need to... Uh-oh, tri oh, I need some heal. Good, good, good. Yes! Yes! Okay. Can he do the damage now at this point to even take me out? That's the question. Eight? I think I'm going to keep going up now. Fifteen. Back to two, but I'm going to triage that two up again. Uh-oh, I said I'm going to triage that too with Darg Dead Blast. Come on, Darg. Come on, Darg. I need Murdali. I need Murdali. Darg Dead Blast. Heal Murdali. Don't heal Osher. Heal, heal Murdali. Murdali. Yes. 18. 16. Uh-oh. So, darn it. To, back to five. All right. He's just got so many hit points. I need to take out the Anash Soothsayer. Or else he'll keep healing the rage. And there's nothing I can do about that rage if it keeps going up. So I really need this Chaos Dragon to do his job. And to hit that Anash Soothsayer one time. That's what I need here. I need to hit the Anash Soothsayer with Chaos Dragon. Right now. Because then he'll he'll die. To Earthquake. He'll die to Earthquake if I hit the Anash Soothsayer. Of course. Oh buddy. I'm on the edge of my seat with this one. What? No! I didn't heal my own Merdali. Now I die. Because I, I, he's going to get Earthquaked out. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Resurrect. But he has no shields. And he did not get... I don't know. He has to be the one to get triaged here. Come on. Come on, Chaos Dragon. Do your job. There we go. All right. All right. Five, two, three... Three. Come on, buddy. I need this Chaos Dragon to randomly hit one time. Just one time. Oh, buddy. He hasn't hit a single time on the Soothsayer. And now you die again, Murdali Guardian. I need that damage to push through on Rage. Oh, man. Now it's not enough to take out the, the, the Soothsayer. Rage again. You're useless, Chaos Dragon. You're useless. Absolutely useless. Now he's just getting out of control. That Rage is healing for like a thousand points a turn. Come on, eight. He just keeps going up. He's going to be back to full. Again on the Rage. All right. I am I am Rage now because my Chaos Dragon doesn't do anything. He's hit Rage four times in a row. I'm going to skip to results. All I needed was one hit on that Soothsayer so long ago. And I could have taken this one away, but now he's back up to nine. Back up to nine. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm going to skip. I lose. Copy link. Close. That was ridiculous. That was absolutely ridiculous. One hit. They all went to Rage 2. Battle. 57... 53, sometimes in the 60s. So it was around 50-50. But man, I was in there for good. I had a good chance at that. I had a good chance at that. So disappointing. So disappointing. So man, that's like two in a row that I've gotten uh, Smith raged out on. Two in a row I've gotten Smith raged out on. All right, let's go again. Whew. That was infuriating because I was so close. I needed one hit on the Anash Soothsayer. Out of so many of those shots, Chaos Dragon decides to hit Rage instead. All right. Sure. Sneak, Broken Arrows, and Thorns. You can see how good this game is, man. I'm getting, like, enraged over it. Sneak with the Thorns. All right. So I think that I want a Magic. And when I think about Magic, that means that they're going to want Magic. So that means that I want Immortalis. And I want to try and shut them down. Which means I need number four. I need Dr. Blight. And since it's a low battle, 
I think I'm going to go with the Blackmore Nymph in the front. She's kind of like my tech. I wish I had her at, at max. So she'll have like eight hit points or something crazy like that. Because of the thorns. I'd love to get some magic reflect in there. Is there anyone who has magic reflect? L M N O P. L M N O P. I said L M. Is it just called reflect? L M N O P Q R. Reflect? Oh man. Why am I not. Magic reflect. Okay. Zenith Monk, you're all that there is? Okay, well, you can still go in front because I really am expecting lots of magic. Um, what about Reflection Shield? L-M-N-O-P-Q-R-S. Reflection Shield. Who's got it? Ooh. From Burden Fighter. Nah, you're not good enough for that. All right. So who else would be good? So we know Blackmore Nymph is awesome in that. These guys are pretty key. Oh, if there was a way that I could squeeze in, maybe there is. If I take you out, I can probably squeeze in my underpowered... Nope, she's gone too. Because I can't play her because of the ranged. Mantaroth? Do I just go with Manti and just try and heal? But if they're going to be playing their own Immortalis, then they're going to just break his shield. So it may as well not exist. I got a feeling that you just want to go with Grimbard and Smith for some reason. Like uh, It's just like the way that you do it, apparently. And, uh, like, are they going to go and they going to Grimbard and Rage me? Are they going to Grimbard and Rage me? 32, 31. You know what? 6, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. So I got 5 left. I got 5 left. I'll put in you, Hill Giant, and then I got a tour, Lurking Puff. Behind the Blackmore Nymph. And Venka, you can go up. Oh, they've got Sneak. They got Sneak. I'm going to put Puff in the very back. All right, let's try it out. I don't know how I feel about this, but I feel like we're both going to be playing Immortalis. Yep. Oh, and it's against Brave Tofu as well. Darn it. We're playing the big names today. And who's he got? Yep, he does have Blackmore Nymph in front like we knew. He's got his own Puff. Ooh. All right. Let's see how things shake down here. So I, I actually kind of like the Hill Giant this. I've got the 5 attack out of him, and he's got the fastest speed. Nice. Nice. So Venka should just kill him. Oh, that's right. He sneak attacked. Oh. That's right. That's how that works. So now we know that charge... I did not know that, actually. I didn't know that charge was going to be countered by... Uh, would, would be overrun by, overridden by sneak is how I should say it. I did not know that. And now my charge went, yeah, so charge was overridden by sneak. Okay. So I don't think I have a chance at winning here. He's just going to go to town with his Rooney. So I may as well just skip this. I lose. Because I can't do anything to his Blackmore Nymph. And he's got, he's got the ability to Rooney my Blackmore Nymph. Yeah. So I lose. I may as well just skip right now. Skip results. Darn it, man. That was so close. All right. Well, that sucked. Just getting crushed today. Yep. Sneak is greater than charge. I didn't know that either until now. So uh, that's three in a row after, you know, cut one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wins in a row, three losses in a row. Like I say, I always say Splinterlands giveth and Splinterlands taketh away. But I picked up a nice piece of knowledge from that that sneak overrides charge even though the description of charge says attacks the tank right so it's good to know sneak overrides charge something to bear in mind at least and he had the amplify because of i was wondering why i did so much damage he had the amplify because of queen mycelia that's what did it, it was the amplify from queen mycelia cancel match here let's just see what he had obviously he had the eight and he had the ten Oh, buddy. These matches are hard fought, dude. These matches are hard fought. You know what? Let's cancel match quick. There was something I wanted to see. Let's check the market. I'm actually four away. I think I might just spring and just buy it right now. I'm four away from finally completing this Magus. And I think I'll just pay whatever the price is on it. Or I'm tired of waiting. One, two... 
three, four, 45 DEC. I'll just buy it. Confirm. I'm just going to finish putting this Magus together here real quick. Because I think that there was that one round when it was Blast that I could have really used the Scattershot on it. But I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to use the Scattershot with only one magic damage. Two magic damage, I'll take it. But one, he's useless. I was four away. I was waiting a little bit, but now I'll just, I'll pay the, I'll pay the piper and I'm good now. All right. That was a big upgrade for me. I've been wanting to use that Magus for a while and now I can. All right. So melee only, uh, fab four, always hit. Melee only, fab four, always hit. Melee only, fab four, always hit. Okay. I'm going to start with Venka in that case. Ooh, although Immortalis would break shields. Tough call. All right, we'll start with you anyway. And who has Shield Breaker? Huh. You know what? I'm just going to try and roll out Venka and make Venka do all the work. That's going to be my goal here, is that Venka does everything for me. And I'll pop in Manti. If I can... And who's got repair? There's no low cost repair though. That's the problem. There's no low cost repair. Manti can take some hits from Venka, so that may, that's fine with me. And I'll put in him. And for four, who do I got? Ooh, you could be good. Double blast. Double blast. Is that is that how I do it? And who's got three? You know what? They're probably going to be coming at me. I might just want to just shore up, and just hope that Mantroth does his job with Pirates of Eight here. And Venka. I might just want to use these guys and basically... Oh, do I, who's who's good for four? I could put the Chaos Rearguard in the back, though, instead of Cruel Cethropod. If I changed Lux Vega... Like, he's so weak, though. But if I changed Lux Vega into... Um, regular old... Kelia... You know what? Maybe? Let's just do a quick evaluation here. Let's take out Lux Vega... Let's put in the quicks. And then let's put in, I don't know, this 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 guy here. Ooh, I could get stun in and I could get the infiltrator in. That's eight. Is that better? And that would give me plus one speed. Nope, it's not better. It's not better. All right, so I'm going to go with Kelia. I am going to put in the rear guard because I got the feeling like they're going to come at me. And that leaves me with four. Eh, let's put you in instead. All right, because I do have a feeling that they're going to come at me using also water. And they're going to have a ton of sneak. So let's use rear guard to protect my Venka. Let's do it. Uh-oh. So he's got shield going on in the front. And please, no Tidebiter second rank. Darn it, it's Tidebiter. And oh, darn. I think that he takes out my Venka the Viled right off the bat. He doesn't. All right, this guy's weaker, but he's about to die. Oh, man. Six, seven. You got the fastest speed, though, and that's the six I needed. You got the fastest speed. Three. Why three? Oh, you gave him shield. Oh, that was so good. You gave him shield. Oh, no. You gave him shield with this guy, with Morto. Morto gave him shield. If it wouldn't have been for that Tidebiter, I'd be sitting pretty right now. But it's Tidebiter. How oh, what? And now he's poisoned. All right, skip to results. Another loss. Wow. Sometimes you win and sometimes you just get crushed. Prophet Rosa. And that guy had enrage. Oh, man, I'm jealous. I hate these sideboard cards, and I've only got my guy level 7. I hate these so much. Like I always say, I've got it pulled up. I've got it pulled up. Soulbound cards. We also intend for the cards to be able to become unbound, meaning they will be able to be transferred, rented, burned, or sold once they stop being available in loot chests by infusing with DEC. So I just want to make a mention... Transferred, rented, burned, or sold. Please don't go back on this, Matt. I need to be able to get my Kulu Mastermind to have Enrage as well. So it, please make them transferred, rented, burned, or sold. I need that. Transferred, rented, burned, or sold. You said it right here. 
in your official announcement. Look, it's official by Splinterlands. Transferred, rented, burned, or sold. Give me my damn Kulu mastermind so I can be cool too. Woo! I'm getting crushed. How's it going, People's Guild? Not a good day. I started off on such a hot streak. I was seven in a row, and now I think I've lost. Let's see. One, two, three, four in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I was seven in a row, and now I lost four in a row. Ah, uh, how the cookie crumbles. How the cookie crumbles. You go on your hot streak, then you go on your losing streak. So, what's that guy's name who's always complaining? Pika Dragon or something like that? Oh, let's see what Mega KB says. Yeah, Mega. Yeah. Let's all have drinks together. I think his name's Pika Dragon. He's always complaining about how he loses. Buddy, that's the name of the game. Sometimes you do good. There he is. Sometimes you do bad. Peekaboo Dragon. Peekaboo. This time it's my turn to get crushed. Woo! Buddy, I was on such a hot streak. Jangles in the house. People's Guild. Oh, here we go. Poison. No legendaries. Five alive. 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 All right, let's do Grandmaster Wraith into Moxian. And since there's no legendaries, we can do Grim. Oh, there's no healing for that. Womp, womp, womp. No healing means cannot do. I need to be able to heal. And it's a tough one because what do I want to do? Do I want to do Lily Shield into it? Lily Shield Paw? I think I do want to do Lily Shield Paw. And then we can pop you in. 19 of 34. Gross. You know what? Maybe I maybe looking at that, I can break Grim by doing a Possibilius team. Because you'll do lots of damage. 2930. That gives me five more to play with. I can't do no no one would break it a little bit. It's just not enough, is it? What about fours? No. No. All bad. All bad. Threes? I hate everything. I hate life right now. Possibilities you are not the way. But that coastal sentry would go a long way to break their Grim Barden. Because you know they're gonna play Grim Barden up front. I mean it's got immunity and everything, and you can't play Venka. So I'll put Moxie and Rebel. I have to go heavy magic. It's the only way I'll be able to break their guy is if I go heavy magic as well. Or else I just lose to their magic. I just lose to their Grimbarden Smith, right? So this is healing. Oh, and there we go. All right. Magi of Chaos. So I'll deal one, two, three, seven. And you deal nothing, though. I'll deal seven, and then you deal nothing. Six. But you heal. I've already got enough healing with Merdali. That will deal three. So I've got four, seven, eight, nine, ten damage to Grimbarden Smith. That's what I need. I need ten damage to Grimbarden. And that will deal ten damage to Grimbarden this way. Do I want the Nerissa? Is Nerissa the way to go? I think she is. Because you have to do all magic. If I start diluting my magic attack, I will never get through. I will never break his Grimbarden Smith if I don't focus solely on magic. And Josie B is healing her Grimbarden Smith. Darn it. A healing Grimbarden Smith. Probably double heal in that case. How many heals you got? Single heal. All right. I have a chance because it's only single heal on Grimbarden Smith. And I've got my own Grimbarden Smith being healed. You are going to be attacking my Merdali Guardian. All right. Let's see if it works out. Like I said, 10 damage is what I have. And will I get to attack before his Grim? It worked. Like I said, I calculated the 10 damage. I calculated 10 damage and 10 damage is what it was. Woo. Oh, buddy. The calculations. The calculations paid off. Like I said, you have to, you have to, you, you got to assume that they're playing Grim Smith in that. And I think that I've just, I don't think that he can, I don't think he can win. Good. Because I got my own Magi and I got that. Yeah, I'm going to kill him next turn. First attack. 
Here we go. Aha! My losing streak's over! Too bad it had to be to a fellow brawler, but... Yeah, alright. Like I said, you gotta count it. They got 10. And the strat when you're facing Grim on Grim is you gotta just focus. If I would have had any melee attacks in there, all I would have done is hit a shield over and over and over and over. So, you gotta pick a strategy and you gotta go with it. You got to go with this strategy, especially if you expect Grimbarden. And I'm lucky that Grimbarden was slower than me. Um, if he was... Uh, so the one speed from uh, Lux Vega ended up paying out because he never got the chance to heal. If he would have had a single healing opportunity there, it could have been a totally different game. But I took him out before even his chance to heal a single time with 10 damage. So chaos, Magi of Chaos is super important in these matchups too. Virus says nicely played. Thanks, buddy. Gotta do the math. I feel good. I feel good. I finally got in. Uh, I broke that losing streak. Now we can. Now we can hopefully get some wins in. Now that the losing streak's over. Because uh, that's what I want to do before bed. Is pound a ton of water when my prostate's already giant. Gonna have to wake up three times uh, tonight now to pee. Any of you other oldos out there know what I'm talking about. Ooh, I'm starting to feel like this is gonna get someone either really high rating or really low rating now because we're doing the search for a while. I oftentimes like to just cancel match here and redo uh, to try and get someone closer to my own ranking, but yeah, let's do that. Let's cancel match and let's battle again. Get someone a little closer to my own ranking. I don't care if I have to wait a little bit longer. I don't end up facing like someone with like a 4,800 or something like that, you know? Although Josie was 45. I'm sorry, Josie. So I put this out. Uh-oh. Oh, she's saying. Nice lineup. There we go. Yep. It was a good lineup against Josie. So, whilst loading up, check out what I did here in Town Hall. I have a suggestion for Matt. So... Those of you who are listening to Town Hall know that Matt kind of hinted, you guys can let me know what you think about this, hinted on nerfing, um, yep, we're still going, okay, hinted on nerfing Grim Smith. And to sum this up, basically I'm saying, instead of nerfing Grim Smith, why don't you nerf immunity? Because, um, and you can nerf immunity by applying cripple to immunity. And in my mind, that's better than taking away from a card that a lot of us like invested heavily in the Rebellion like pre-sale because we saw the stats on Grim Smith. We maybe put in more packs than we wanted to to get Grim Smith. So instead of nerfing Grim Smith, if you were to sort of nerf immunity by allowing Cripple to affect the cards, I think that that would be a pretty good counter. Because like I, like I was saying, you can't cleanse Cripple, right? So if you can't cleanse Cripple, that means Cripple isn't a status effect, right? And if it's not a status effect, then why should you be able to protect from it with immunity? Getting like hit in the leg with a sledgehammer or maul or something like that doesn't seem like something you're going to be able to cleanse. Heal from, yes, but cleanse, no. So I think that that's a good way to nerf Smith if he's planning on doing it. And thematically, it makes sense as well. All right, reverse speed, magic reflect. No sneak or snipe. Oh, buddy. Buddy, if you guys don't know about this one, you're going to love it. All right. So I'll do Immortalis in this because it's got lots of slow stuff. And let's see if I can squeeze off the gobs. Yeah, you're fine. Do all these. But in no sneak, no snipe, if you didn't know, Venka still works. Venka still works in no sneak, no snipe. That's right. Because charge isn't sneaking and charge isn't sniping. So it works. I've been, I, I'm falling out of love with the Suede Shaman, I'll say that much. Um, okay, so who do I got? 45, you know what? I don't even need you necessarily. I can go with Manti. 
because Manti's really good. And who would I got for six? Oh, Psychic. Psychic! All right, so now we got some triage in the form of Dompier. Um, for the Slip Spawn, who's going to absorb their Venka attack. None of these other guys are really worth healing. Ooh, Magic Reflect. Okay, I've only got these two as my Magic Reflectors. I'm fine with that. He'll only Reflect for zero. Because don't forget, in Magic Reflect, he's only going to take one because Immortalis is giving Void. And he's only going to take one. He's going to take zero because Magic Reflect will hit for one and he'll get Voided. All right, so that's an important thing to remember when using Immortalis. If it's Magic Reflect, don't worry too much about it. And I'm going to love the Blast, because I'll probably hit their Mycelic Slip Spawn, but then Blast whoever they have if they're not using it. And it's speed 1. It's really good. All right, Venka speed 5. I can expect some misses out of him, but I'm going to use Venka because, like I said, no sneak, no snipe. They might not expect it. It could be good. Let's do it. So the speed 5 is what's working against Venka in this one. But hey, I've seen Venka miss all the time on blind and stuff, right? Yeah, Dallin stock through the roof. Exactly. So I'm glad that you guys can, can appreciate that. If you guys like that idea, go to Town Hall and put like a little thumbs up on it or something like that. Or comment on that so that Matt knows. Because I mean, I, I, I did my best to try and explain it pretty good here. Especially, and like I said, especially after they left cards like Kitty and Yoden unchanged for so long just to dominate um, the game for like three years, right? Now what? They're going to nerf Grimbard and Smith after just a few months? Come on, guys. But thematically, it doesn't even make sense to me that you would be immune to Cripple. Like, it's not a status effect if it can't be cleansed, you know? Um, and I also don't agree with like being able to cleanse weapons training or something like that because it's not like you're getting amnesia, right? Uh, from getting cleansed or something like that. You still remember the weapon string. So th thematically that seems on point as well, but go and give this over here in the town hall section of discord a thumbs up. If you think that's a better way to nerf Grimbarden Smith. And like I said, the, the way it would be nerfed is it would add a lot of value to cripple cards and also the cripple rule set. It would make you think twice about it. And thematically as well. Getting, like I said, getting hit in the knee with a maul, uh, you shouldn't be able to be immune to that. Ooh, it's Bulldog. So he's probably healing his own Grim Smith. Oh no, it's inevitable. It's inevitable. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. It's inevitable. And inevitable's got healing. Oh, this cannot be worse for me. And he's got and he's got blast uh, shield back there. He's got reflection shield from my goblin tower and everything. Oh, buddy, it could it couldn't be worse. Nine, seven, back up to eleven, and he's gonna double heal on that too. Don't forget when it's his turn, he's healed again. Twelve. So I'm I'm taking him down for one. The force field was good there. Magic reflect at two. I don't know if I'm gonna heal first before he hits me. I've got speed two. I don't know if that's enough to triage it in time. Six. Four. Ooh. Do I have a chance at this? Two? No. He's at six. He's at three. Magic reflect for one. Force fielded. He's back up to seven. Darn it. I have a chance, but I don't think it's enough, is the way I'll phrase it. He's at five. Zero. Five. This boat Corsair Boson. Oh! I got him! I got him! Does he have revive? He does have revive from Goff. But that means he doesn't get an attack. He doesn't get a chance to do his stuff this time. So that's at least something. He got shattered. He's back up to six. But he himself can't heal. This turn at least. Because he just got revived. So. Mantaroth. Shield yourself. Come on Mantaroth. Do all the work Mantaroth. Oh. Oh yeah. He doesn't have uh, that other ability. Oh it's going to be a tough one man. And now I can blast his Venka. He's a two. Come on, Goblin or Goblin Tower, you can do your thing now. He's a three. Oh, trample into his Venka. Oh, Venka and Venka violence. Oh, buddy, this game is awesome, dude. Oh, man, I love Splinterlands. That's why when people trash talk the game sometimes, like, buddy, do they not see how awesome this is? There we go, Bulldog. Yeah, buddy. Oh, and the stun finally got the... Ooh, the miss. Like I said, the... Oh, but it's five speed on five speed. So, it's his evasion. Nice. 
back on track with the W's. Can you drop the comment link here? Okay, let me see what you guys are saying. I agree. Yes, please. We pitched that with both Matt. Can you drop the comment link here? I don't need, I don't know what you're talking about when you say comment link. Do you mean the Town Hall Discord comment link? How do I do that? More? Uh, copy message link. Oh, I didn't even know I could do that. Oh, buddy. I am so bad at technology. There's the comment message link. I am... I am so bad at technology. Like, I'm surprised I can even stream at this point, to be honest with you guys. I'm surprised I can even stream. Like, that's how bad I am with knowing what I'm doing. I'm like, oh, please microphone work, because if you don't work, then I have no idea what I'm going to do. Like, just plug it into USB and hope for the best. It was, uh, I owe all of my abilities to um, Rondon. Good old Rondon. He taught me everything I know. Oh, there you go. I dropped the link there for you. Good old Rondon. Man, I really miss Splinterlands TV. I really miss Splinterlands TV. Alright. Rebirth. Silent Summoners. Amplify. I definitely want to go with... Uh, with... Oh yeah. Silent Summoners. Okay. Silent Summoners. I definitely, you know, I'm going to use General Sloan to confuse people into thinking that I suck. Because then when they go and they look at my uh, at my past history, they'll be like, why was he using General Sloan? There we go. But him, Revived, is really good. Uh, do I have anyone else that has Scavenge, I think it's called? L-M-N-O-P. Q-R, Scavenge. Scavenge? Scavenger. Ooh, Volgine. Ooh. I could put Volgine in the second rank and just hope for the best. You know what else I could do? Six. Let's go in there with an Aves team. Because Aves can clean up 18. All right, 19. And who do I got here? I got you. 2021. 20, oh, 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 oh. None of my guys have armor. I was like, oh, you scavel hireling, but none of my guys have armor. So I don't know if that's the best choice. I think that the triage might be a little bit better in case they're using like a Celestial Harpy or something like that. Yeah, that looks good to me. Dr. Blight will just be sitting there. And man, only having a three-star Dr. Blight. Oh, buddy, that is so bad. Like, it's just so bad. Aves will take away the armor. He'll probably only end up with two health because they'll be using Dr. Blight. And their Dr. Blight is going to have um, a weaken or whatever that skill is that takes one away. But I mean, it is what it is, right? If you don't got it, you don't got it. And that's the way she be. I hope that these guys are able to do some good damage so that Volgine is able to get big before he gets pulled to the front. I have no healing. You're not enough to heal. Does Volgine have armor? No. Maybe I don't want him. Maybe I go with a heavy magic reflect in the anticipation that they also magic reflect. Ooh, you know what? Maybe I get rid of both those guys and I put you in front. And then that makes my Conjurer really good from a double revive. Yes, yes. And then I make you faster. Yes, I like that. And then I take you out and I make you even faster. Yes, that's the way to go. Eight seconds left. Don't want to mess it up. Let's battle. All right, let's go for it. I don't know if I did the right or the wrong thing at the very end. Oh, it's Kaido Kid. But I sort of like it. So he's got his magic reflectors too. Oh, he's using Venka the Vial. Of course, I should have done that too. You just always jam Venka. I was a fool to not have jammed Venka. But. And now you're going to get magic reflected and die. Yikes. Oh, no. Oh, it was my own fault. It was my own fault. Yeah. I deserve that. So who did you end up... Who did you end up doing that to now? Now I don't even know. Three? Did you do it to him? I don't even know what's going on anymore. How did you hit him too? Oh, the flying thing. And now you die to magic reflect. A second time. Oof. Oh, that was bad. Those are the bad beats.
Oh, oh man. I knew I should have played Pelicor up front, but I did not think of the Venka the Vile. And if I was going to play Pelicor, then you knew they were going to play Pelicor. And Venka is so good against Pelicor. Should have played Venka. Should have played Venka. At least he's got a Reflection Shield again. Yay, Reflection Shield. Uh, Alright, skip to results. Skip to results. Skip to results. 4480. Darn it. Yeah. I knew it was the four-star Dr. Blight. I knew it was the four-star Dr. Blight! Oh, I wish I had you, Dr. Blight! I gotta just jam Venka everywhere that I can. Because she's just too good. And I think that had I been able to reduce speed a little bit more, my Venka would have gotten to attack first. Venka's just too good. Just jam Venka. I should make a note of that. Jam Venka. I'm gonna write it on a piece of paper right now. Jam Venka. Venka. There we go. Venka. I'm going to put it... Venka! I'm going to take this. I'm going to put it right here. In front of my monitor. So I don't forget to put Venka into as many matches as I can. I was so close. I needed that win to get back into uh, Champ 2. That was my Champ 2 matchup. That was my Champ 2 matchup. Alright, let's cancel match. And let's try again. So I don't get paired up with another super high rank guy. Yep, thank you guys. I see that you've got two little up fingers on that. Appreciate that. I think that this is the right way to go. Like, And again, thematically... If you can't cleanse Cripple, Cripple shouldn't be part of immunity, and that would totally take care of Grimsmith. It'll make you think twice before just Grimsmith, you know, in Cripple matches. Ooh, and think about how much better Murdompier would get. Murdompier is already superstar level, but Murdompier would be even better. Murdompier would be even better at that point. I love Murdy. Murdy's so good. What else we got going on here in the Splinterverse? Do you guys ever go and you're like loading up? Oh, Siler or something say. Is this still something that makes sense now that you're part of the team and have more insight? Sorry, Molina. I think self-identified bots are more of an alternative to company-run bots, so it makes less sense now. We should be able to gauge how effective the current solution is in a week or so. All right, let's take a look. I think this one they're talking about. All right. So Siler suggests that accounts should self-identify in the battle if they're botting, and then players would know, and the game would have some data to make further information. Interesting. Do you guys ever get lost in Discord? You're like, I'm going to go to Discord quickly while I'm waiting for a match, and then you're like reading Discord, and then you forget to go back, and then you're like, oh, I fled a battle? Because you're getting too into scrolling through Discord? That happens to me sometimes. Happens to me often, actually, I'd say. Actually, it doesn't happen often, because I'm always like, oh, I don't want to lose out on seeking an enemy. Darn it, I know I'm going to get paired up against some fatty again. Some, like, 4900 guy. Seems like there's not that many people that are on right now, so I'm going to make this the last battle for today. And, uh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, back to basics, that sucks. Lost legendaries, back to basics. Great team. Lost Legendaries back to basics. Let's get a Yasik going on over here. And Septic Slime, you've just got good health. But your one speed is just so bleh. Just so bleh. Alright, you got four. You're better up there because you got good armor and stuff. You got five damage. You got good, like, beef. Uh, who else has good attack? You got good. And that leaves me with a two drop. We've all got six health. You got five damage. I'll just pop you in here. I, I just want to protect. Since it's back to basics, lose everything, lost legendary. I would rather preserve these guys. Ooh. I'd rather preserve these guys than the Zenith Archer. So I'm going to pop the Zenith Archer into this third position. Because I want him to die before my Magi and my Jin and those guys start getting hit. So if they're not using Conqueror Yasik, I think that this is a really strong team. 
if they're using Conqueror Yasik, all these guys, these guys here are just so glass cannon. Um, Magi's fine, but Jin Apprentice and like Inferni are just so glass cannon that they're just bound to just get smoked. So please don't be using Yasik, please, or else it's just an RNG fest. No Yasik, no Yasik. Don't do it. And the Xenoth Archer had a pretty good butt on him too, or she had a pretty good butt on him. I don't know if it's a male or a female on that. Have to take a closer look at the uh, at the picture. But uh, yeah, I'll take her little booty there and get it beat up before my other magic guys. Yes, it's not Yasik. Ooh, but he's got the plus one on it. Oh, I pierce, I pierce, I pierce. Okay, so hopefully I get some good hits in on these chumpos before we, uh, before we get to it. I've got the fastest speeds. I just need to outspeed them and get some good piercing. Uh, get the good piercing. There we go. That's what I'm talking about for the piercing. Ooh, okay. Get the six. All right. Break my armor. It's all good. Oh, no. This guy's such a fat body, though. I love it. Four. There we go. I needed that hit. Yes, that's another good hit. Do, 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 do. Three. Get to the next round already. Yay! Come on, boys. Do your thing. Two. You were useful. You were useful, Zenith Archer. Now die, Zenith Archer. Die. I think all my guys get to attack first. So I just wipe his team. Yay! Zenith Archer, your body held up. All right. And did that put me back in? 3980. You know what? I'll do one more because I want to see. This will be the last battle of the night. It'll either put me in champ two or push me back down further. Let's do one more. Now I'm pumped. We've got the Siler episode tonight. Ooh, I'll definitely be sure to check it out. I just finished watching your episode with, what was it, Tales from the Cryptomancer? Little conflicted. Little conflicted on that one. Because I totally agree with where they're coming from, but uh, with where you were coming from with that... And about, yeah, we dropped the ball, and some things I agree with, and some things I don't. Um, but at the same time, I feel like we're losing the plot. That it's a game, and the game is fun. And if you like the game, then play the game too. Stampede, Lost Legendary, Silent Summoners, Silent Summoners. Alright, that means that you can't just lily me out, but obviously I choose Quicks. Lost Legendaries. What does this team have? I almost never use Death. I find like Death is underpowered, but it's got good cards in it. Queen is good, for instance. I mean, Artemis is good. Uh, Palace is good. Not really, but it does the job. Magi, because they're going to play... Ooh, that's right. Okay, so they're going to play Grimbard and Smith. So I can't use you. I can't use you. Quicks, let's restart. I need to get a magic focus team. We know they're going to put Grimbard and Smith in there. Okay, so let's let's counter their Grimbard and Smith. You're totally fine. Grimbard and... Uh, uh, go to the front, I think. We don't need you because you're just going to die. I don't want you either. Magic. Magic team. Three, four... Who else does good magic damage? You do three. 31 to 59. Gross. I guess I can use you and we'll take out Conjurer. But that's just so bad it seems, you know. Just so bad. Three and eight. You do four. You're more important. You're more important. I'll put you in the back though because I expect that you're going to get hit. Oh, I hate it. I hate this team. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I guess our chemist in the front is fine with the trample. I don't like it. I'm not going to be able to break their Grimbard and Smith. So two, four, eight, I guess ten, but then these guys just shatter on it. I need the speed. I need the speed more than I almost need this. It prevents blast. Oh, man. Such a tough call here. Such a tough call. I, I feel like I need to get ahead of them. I want the Supply Runner, but these guys deal so much more damage. Oh, man. Do I do that instead and keep my Magi alive? I think I need to keep Magi alive. I have no choice. Let's take one more quick look at my Magic guys. 
Two, two, two. I just have to go with the damage. I just have to go with the damage to break their Grim Smith because they're playing Grim Smith. It's almost a guarantee. And if they're not, then hey, I misplayed, but it's fine. But if they are playing Grim Smith, then I can actually take out their Grim Smith. Otherwise, I won't be able to. And very similar teams. Okay. Actually, not similar. So he's sniping. Oh, he's going to snipe out my Time Mage first hit. Oh, that sucks. I can reduce him to five. Four. Oh, yeah, he's done. Yeah, and he's got the negative on magic using my Prismologist. I should have used Prismologist. That's such a good card. What was I thinking? I've got shields. Eight. Oh, yeah, Snipe doesn't attack the last guy. It's not It's not that other ability. Six. Three. Twelve. Ten. Oh, Force Field it anyway. So get out of here. No one cares about you because you're Force Field. You could miss all day long, and I'd be fine with that. At two? Yay! All right, I pulled forward his Pegasus. And you triaged yourself. Hey, that was hot stuff. 5-3. Your 5 is actually relevant now because there's no force field. That worked out well against the blast. I'm happy here. I, I got this one. Ooh, I, maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe not. Is Prismologist out of the way? Uh, yeah, I got this one wrapped up. Four. Oh, force field. That's right. Nope, oh, it's wrapped up. Woohoo! All right. I'm back in uh, Champ 2. It's a great place to end it. I went on that big losing streak, and then I ended up ending where I think I started. So, yep, back Champ 2. Just made it. Let's see what my board looks like. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 and 8 on the board. I'll take that. I'll take that. All right. Well, there you go, guys. Hopefully, you guys found that entertaining. We got to watch a few modern matches, uh, see some different strategies. It wasn't only Venka and Grim spam this time, which is nice. There was a lot of Venka and Grim. Let's uh, not not pretend there wasn't. But uh, hey, those are some pretty cool matches. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, as always, if you guys have comments or questions. Feel free to post. I got nothing to do all day except look after a bunch of kids and change diapers. So I always try and get back to you guys. And if you like what you saw, like, share, subscribe, do what you're supposed to do. And until next time, my friends, it's I the Sai signing off. See you guys around Pretoria. Peace, my friends. Take care.